And here we go. It's the money match. The Vargi's Growlithe Pack against the Charming Charmillions. Oh, as always, remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to see more Metronome battles. Here we go. The first Pokemon out for the Charmillions is the um, Whimsicott. And we see Whimsicott starting things off with a small. And the Toxic Croak out for the Growlithe Pack. We'll see what it chooses to do. Here we go. There starts things off with the Feather Dance. That's going to slow the Whimsicott down. I don't think that mat or excuse me, lowers its attack. Excuse me. Whimsicott, I believe, will always go first because it has the Prankster ability, which works on Metronome, meaning it will always go first in these battles. Here we go. Whimsicott raising his defenses. That could definitely work in their favor. Here we go. An eruption. Oh, that's going to be super effective. And a huge hit, Whimsicott's already down in the danger zone. Oh my goodness. What a mood choice by the Growler Pack right there. Here comes a Dazzling Gleam. That's not very, or it's neutral. That is right, it's neutral against the Toxic Rope. Does a decent amount of damage. And here comes the Sand Tomb. And that has to do it for the Whimsicott. That was a quick turnaround right there. Here comes the Raichu. Well, that's a Lolan Raichu on the Charmillions. If we learned anything from the Cantonian Raichu, Raichu can be pretty dangerous. And there goes the Parish Song. Interesting choice. The Charmillions, I don't know if they really want to do that. Because uh, they already lost a Pokemon. So that's going to work in the Growlithe Pack's favor. And Toxicroak's Poison Touch poisons the Raichu. It's just looking very bad for the Charmillions here tonight. I don't know what they can do to turn things around, but they're going to have to do something drastic. Here we go. There goes the Raichu. Now with a nasty plot. Gonna raise its stats. Maybe it can make the Toxicroak faint before it does to the Parasong. Not sure what it's doing here. And the poison does more damage. I don't think the poison really matters unless Raichu chooses to switch out, which would be the best bet. It needs to get out of this battle so it doesn't faint to Parasong. Here comes the Sunny Day. Ooh, that would work in favor if Toxic Croak has dry skin. I'm not sure it does. No, it has Poison Touch. We saw that. There goes a future size of Toxic Croak, knowing it's going to faint. It's going to try it and hit a move in the future. We'll see how well that works for them. So the Poison takes more of Raichu's health. Here we go. Raichu going again. Uses Misty Terrain. And that's going to be it. Both these Pokemon are going to faint right here. That leaves the Charmillions with one Pokemon and the Growlithe Pack have two. There goes the Icicle Crash. And that does it, right? Raichu faints uh, just from the hit and not to the Parasong, but unfortunately the Parasong is going to take out the Toxic Rope and the Growlithe Pack are going to be forced to switch out. They're sending out their Dreadnought. Our millions down to their last Pokemon. They have two Pokemon to defeat with the Scrafty. It's possible, but that is a huge uphill battle that they're going to have. Here we go. Dreadnought is attacked, falls to the Intimidate. Dreadnought, the faster of the two, going first. Uses Encore. That's going to fail. The Pokemon only have one move, so Encore is not going to work. And a self destruct. The Charmillions really didn't want to play here tonight as they basically hand the match over to the Growlithe Pack. I'm not sure what happened. And that does it. Oh, <laughs> no, 